Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Now today we're taking a look at Marlow Watch Company. This is their new dive watch. The one I do have in hand is the Morar Beacon. It's an automatic dive watch from Marlow Watch Company based out of the UK. And uh, it comes in a pretty nice box. Uh, let me just take the watch away so you don't get any sneak peeks. Now here's the actual box it comes in. It's actually a really nice box. You can see we have the Marlow logo here. And if I open this up, you can see inside we do get a nice little manual and then you do get your edition number these are limited edition and then you open this up again and then this is where the watch is placed on the pad on the other side nice little leather uh, thing here beyond expectation uh, cool little saying there. Let's get right into the watch. Now before getting into it, I just want to show you this little manual here. So this watch actually took more than three years uh, to create supposedly. As you can see, 310. It's 310 meters water resistant. And that's the reason for that. Um, just a little note from the founder. Uh, yeah, spanning over three years. Um, I hope you like it and thank you for supporting us. Uh, there's just some a lot of cool information. It's, and it's definitely inspired by the spirit of the lock. Uh, which is this nice place right here. I'm not going to get too much into that. Uh, I really care about the watch itself, but here's some background history. And um, they did actually put a plate, so you can see British design there. You could, they, actually, they did actually put a plate uh, behind the case back for that 310, as you can see, 310, uh, the water resistant. And it has a really good anti-magnetic uh, properties as well. Crown, bezel, and the loom kind of spoiling the whole review uh, but yeah just some pretty cool stuff in here and uh, yeah let's get into it and here right in front of you is the Marlow Beacon automatic dive watch and as you can see well there first of all there are many different flavors that this watch comes in this is pretty much the most you know simple one I'd say um, very standard looking in terms of you know the finishing and the dial um, but this is the one I happen to like the most. Now the price point for these is 510 US dollars. So that's something you might want to take into consideration and see if it's worth it. Now the case itself is a bead blasted solid 316L stainless steel all around. As you can see, it's actually a very thin case, but the bezel is very, very thick um, with that nice design, which actually correlates to one of their other watches um, that they actually have. As you can see that design going around the bezel there. It does allow for very good grip on the bezel, I do must, I must uh, say. Um, but getting into some basic specifications here, by any means, it's not actually a large watch. I thought it was going to be a lot larger when I got it, and then I opened the box, and I'm like, wow, it's actually pretty, you know, it's much smaller than I thought it would actually be. In terms of case diameter, we're looking at 40 millimeters. In terms of case thickness, we're looking at 12.4 millimeters thick, so it's really not that chunky. In terms of lug to lug, which is from here to here, or tip to tip, we're looking at around 48 millimeters. So it's, you know, fairly sized for today's times. I think it's a good size. Um, it definitely looks right at home in my 6.5 inch wrist. Now, it does have a screw down crown. It does have 310 meters of water resistance with some great anti-magnetic properties. Um, there is a plate placed beneath the case, screw down case back here for anti-magnetic properties and a stronger seal for that 310 meters. The bezel is 120 clicks. You also do get a genuine sapphire crystal, of course. The loom is ISO rated. It's an iOS, ISO rated luminous compound. Um, the watches themselves are, you know, numbered. So they're limited editions. There's only a certain number of them. And once that's over, I guess it's sold out. The sapphire crystal does have air coating, which is nice. And it definitely does help. It is very legible and all pretty much all light. You can see it doesn't really reflect light that much, which is nice. Now, uh, getting into some other stuff here, we have standard 20 millimeter lug width here, which is pretty standard for a 40 millimeter case. Now the dial is actually very, very interesting. If we get in a little closer here, the actual markers are in the shape of shells, which I think is pretty cool. As you can see, there's a couple different type of shells there. The loom is actually very good. It glows blue and green. So I'm assuming it's BGW9 and it's Super Luminova. And it's actually very strong. We get a nice orange, uh, pretty yeah, rectangular hands, I should say, um, as well as the hour hand. The minutes hand is in orange for greater legibility, I assume. 
The bezel itself kind of has like a Blanc Palm 50 Fathoms type of look to it, but you, but not really. Um, I gotta say, kind of 50 50 there. The dial itself, I get it under the light a little bit. You can see it is kind of textured there and kind of sandy, gravelly in texture, which I think is pretty neat. Definitely goes along with the whole theme here. Marlow Watch Company is printed below the 12 o'clock position. And it's just a lot of little small details on this watch that I do like. So you can see the M on the crown is signed. You get that nice spiral finish going all the way around on the bezel. And the strap itself, well, there's a couple of options when it comes to straps. You can get a leather strap or the silicon strap. The silicon strap's okay. It's definitely wearable. It's comfortable. You know, it's not a genuine rubber strap, which I was kind of let down by. At this price point, I would definitely expect a genuine rubber strap. I'm sorry. If I'm paying $500... A silicon strap is just not going to do it for me. Um, but this strap is comfortable and very doable, and I do like it. I believe it's the same exact strap used on the Trintec watches I reviewed. But nonetheless, it works, it fits. You know, it's a dive watch, it has a silicon strap here, and it's comfortable. Now, in terms of weight, um, it's about 101 grams in total with the strap. So it's not really that light, it's not that heavy, it's about the perfect weight there. Now, inside of this watch, ticking away, as you can see, if you did not notice, it is beating at 4 hertz. Well, what is it? It's actually the Miyota 9039. So basically the 9015 without a date. Um, it hand winds, it hacks, it has 24 joules. There's no date wheel in here. It beats at 4 hertz, or 28,800 beats per hour. Around a 40-hour power reserve I usually get from my other watches with the same movement. So now let's get to the bezel action itself. So the actual bezel action is actually really good. Very tool-like. If you can hear that, there's really no play, and everything does line up perfectly. Oops, I went one over. Everything does line up perfectly to the 12 o'clock position, so there are no misaligned bezels, uh, which is pretty typical on most watches. Now, the crown is screwed down, very easy to grip here. Um, you do get a lot of grip on the crown, just very easy to screw in and screw out, very well threaded. Uh, nice guards here for the crown. First position, we can give the watch some juice here, even though it's already going. And there's just one position you can set the time here and then you can push that back in it'll start running again and you can screw this back down for your 310 meters of water resistance now the buckle itself is on the same finish as the case signed with the m from marlow and if i go ahead and undo this here we can get a glimpse at the case back the case back's really nice i really do like the case back you can see that spirit of the lock i think that's really cool very nicely done here number 087 MWC and it does say uh, more 310 British design automatic this is screwed down very nicely done case back the case back is very nice I do appreciate that get you a better look at the sides of the watch and then we will check out the loom and see how the loom is on camera as you can see the strap is fairly long so if you, for you guys with bigger wrists you definitely have enough room here definitely will fit up to like an 8.5 uh, 8 inch wrist i should say um but yeah i think it looks pretty nice you know it's very it kind of reminds me of kind of vintagey but kind of modern kind of yeah, kind of a little bit of both worlds there now let me uh shine the torch on this thing for about 10 seconds and we'll see what this loom looks like and there is the loom so as you can see it's very bright it's very legible and it's pretty potent I do like the blue shells. I think it looks pretty cool. The pip is actually really, really bright. If you take a look at that at 12 o'clock, it does match the minutes hand, which is very nice. And that lollipop tipped uh, second sweeping hand, which you see matches the markers as well. It is fairly good. It does last for quite a long time. I think they did a really good job on the loom. Now, if you have a 6.5 inch wrist like me, this is how the watch will look. It is kind of very circular with those lugs that are kind of thin and point out. Um, I think it looks kind of nice, you know? It definitely fits perfect on my wrist. It's pretty slim once it sinks into the wrist there. The strap itself is very comfortable. There's no need to break it in or anything like that. It does attract lint a little bit. As you can see, there's some lint all over the strap. But that's pretty typical from silicone straps there. Uh, but yeah, everything is very comfortable. Um, it fits my wrist just fine, perfectly across at 48 lug to lug. My wrist is 6.5 inches. And overall, um, it's a good look. Definitely a very casual look. You can even wear it on a leather strap with a suit, I think, if you wanted to as well. So this is the Marlow Watch Company, Morar Beacon Automatic Watch, their first dive watch, and I think they did a pretty good job. The construction, the, the finishing, uh, you have all the check boxes marked off, sapphire crystal, good loom, good case finishing, good bezel action, bezel alignment. 
good set of dimensions. You have an automatic 4 hertz movement. Um, a little step up from the NH35 we most typically see. Although those are mostly those come at cheaper price points though. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty nice looking watch. Um, is the price right? I don't know. You know, this is a smaller company. Obviously, they don't have the ca uh, capability to produce, you know, hundreds of thousands of watches and give you a more affordable price. But I'll let you guys decide that. 510, uh, what do you think about that? So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As usual, your feedback is always appreciated. And that is one reason I do these reviews, so the companies can see the feedback you guys give us, of course. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews with the Marlowe Beacon. Hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely follow me right now. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button down in the right corner. A lot of cool stuff coming up soon for the holidays. And you can also check out www.watchaddictchannel.com or at Watch Addict Channel on Instagram. Stay tuned. A lot of good stuff coming, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.